and uh, welcome back to Time Served and it's a part of a channel where uh, I review bits of my kit and uh, hence the name Time Served I've had them for over a year or whatnot. I ain't going to get a product get it fresh from the bag try it once and review it because it hasn't stood its test of time um, you haven't found its flaws and stuff like that so when people do reviews like that I just think it's a load of rubbish go in my back garden set up a brolly and go ooh the best brolly ever well you haven't used it on the bank mate so no but yeah, anyway, um, enough fabbing on about that. We're going to talk about the old Sabre Low Pro Pod. So I brought this about a year ago for about 45 quid, I think it is. And for the price, it's a mega, mega bit of kit. Real sturdy. Um, it's, there's various different options you can use. Um, so basically, you've got the pod. You can uh, set it up as a three rod pod and then set it up as a two rod pod by just getting rid of the buzz bars and putting the long bank sticks in there. Um, bit of a problem with that, it ain't stable. So if you're going on a um, wooden platform like I was there the other, the other week, it's sort of the wind blew it over. So if you're gonna go to the two rod pod sort of style, it needs to be on solid ground so you can dig those bank sticks in so they don't start tipping over and your rods falling and the alarms nearly fell in like last week. Or you could use it as singles. Um, so basically, none, uh, well, single, two rod singles, that's all you're gonna get out of it because you only get four, four uprights, basically. So get rid of the buzz bars, get rid of the whole pod bit and just get the singles. Or you can uh, use the buzz bars and uh, the two uprights and uh, sack the middle pod bit, bit off like completely and just stab them in the ground. So yeah, very versatile pod. Um, talk about the buzz bars. Front one is 28 centimeters and your rear one is 25 centimetres. So you get a nice little bit of a splayed out on your rods when you've got three on there. It looks mega, I ain't gonna lie, well thought out that is. Uh, the min pod size itself, 51 centimetres, that is. From there to there, 51 centimetres. Um, you can even extend it by uh, using the old cam, cam lock things here. Never really have, you know, um, this day and age, a small pod is carpy as they say. Um, long pods, you know, you sort of see the older boys using all your long pods and the high pods, but yeah, sort of kept it at 51 centimetres. I think 70 is just too long. Doesn't look nice on the rods when you put the rods down. That's my personal opinion. Um, height wise, the minimum height wise is 19 centimetres. So you get 19 centimetres on the floor to there. And the maximum you can do by extending the cam locks again is 36 centimetres. So fairly like if you if you if you're on like an uneven ground you can up and down it or get your rod tips low so it is like i say quite versatile um what else can i say about it it is lightweight very very lightweight um considering i've just literally getting rid of this um no specific reason just fancy the change um i went for the quarter single stainless and the weight of those stainless steel quarters bloody hell mate it is heavy so this is like i say you can uh, pump it up as many times as you want, you ain't gonna get tired. So yeah, for, it is pretty lightweight, probably not even two kilo, I don't think, mate, you know. For this day and age, it is sort of about keeping everything as light as possible and uh, getting to your swim. So, you know, the more heavier stuff you have, like I've got the Emperor chair, that is heavy, just does my head in. So sort of about being lightweight is key. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Really, downfalls, these cam locks, they're good, don't get me wrong. Um, the screws come a little bit unloose, so just tighten them up every now and again. Secondly, they do sort of feel like they're gonna break. Um, it must be like ABS hardened plastic or whatever they are. Um, but like I say, they do feel like they're gonna break, but you can push it in as hard as you want and they, they ain't gonna break, mate. Just don't force it. If it's not going right, just don't push it. Um, the other thing I found is if you get a lot of dirt in the little holes where uh, the bank sticks like go into and then you cam lock it in, the cam lock does get very stiff because of the mud. So every once in a while, I do take it home and just clean it. Um, yeah, we have the other thing. It's uh, sort of reason why I was sort of changing um, to the stainless steel quarter singles. It's the bank sticks basically. Um, not the bank sticks, but just the the thickness of it um you know it is the thickness of the poles i think it's probably like 1.8 1.6 mil i know it's not a lot um 16 mil 80 mil that's, that's what it would be it's not a lot but if you compare it 
to like a chord a single you can't really make out it but i will do some other footage on top of this but yeah if you if you, if you compare it to a chord a single it is really thin the chord a single you know and and it just looks more on the bank it looks 10 times better i think like the less chunkier and the thinner it is and it just looks carpy and nice um so yeah for the price of 45 quid it is mega like i said it's lasted me a year um if you're looking for a cheap rod pod um you can pick me second hand probably on facebook marketplace or ebay or whatnot for 20 30 quid probably so you know if, if, if you don't want it brand new for 20 30 quid for the pod it stood me well and it's a mega bit of kit, so uh, get on it.